Hi, it's Chris again, talking about uh, my weight loss journey. Um, uh, it's been a while since I recorded one of these videos because I keep, I keep uh, distracting myself, uh, is the tr being honest. But um, this, I'm making these videos to just share of what inspired me to change and uh, in return hoping that this will inspire you to change. And let's begin. So, what, is, what inspired me to lose the weight? Now, I know I'm still 200 pounds. I'm still overweight. Um, and according to the BMI scale, I'm still um, overweight. Uh, but before, I was obese. And, I was, and the horrible thing about being obese was I was okay with it. I was born, uh, well, uh, not really born, no one's born overweight, I want to go ahead and get that out, but we choose to be overweight, so growing up, I chose to be overweight, and I was okay about it, I didn't mind that I was a five-year-old wearing an eight-year-old uh, shirt, I wasn't, I didn't mind that when I was ten years old, I was wearing an adult small, I did not mind that, and the truth is what kept me from not minding it is what is that like I kept getting the bigger shirts that felt loose so I would always uh, like when I put my clothes on in the morning I would feel good knowing that there is always a person bigger than this shirt meaning that like this shirt is loose on me but I know the shirt might be a tight on someone else and because of that thought I never got inspired to lose weight and the worst part was I would see people out on the street on TV that's like over overweight uh, obese in some scenarios and say man I'm sure glad I'm not like them but here was the truth I was them I was obese I weighed 285 pounds and I just told you I weighed myself this morning actually and I weighed 200 and what inspired me to lose the weight was first I had to be honest with myself is to admit that I was not only overweight but I was a beast that I was way over the weight I needed to be like I was twice the weight that I needed to be <laughs> twice the weight of what I should be and that really like shook me to my core and what really helped me open up to that was a trip that uh, me and some friends went to the Universal Studios um, over there they had a bunch of roller coasters a bunch of rides and I was with friends and I was confident and I never liked roller coasters growing up uh, because I was scared and I let fear control me and big and a big majority of my decisions in life but for some reason I wanted to go and um, that whole trip, I felt ashamed. And I was ashamed of my weight and ashamed of who I was because I kid you not, the first roller coaster I went on, I could not, I could not fit. Like there was only, out of the whole rides, they have I think 12, 15 rides there, I could only fit on one ride, on one roller coaster, I should say. Obviously there's more rides I fit but there was only one ride that I could fit. And it was embarrassing when I sat in what they call the big seat on the roller coaster. And I see this guy just, it's a little mechanism just where it goes over your legs. And he's just pushing and he's pushing. And he literally jumps and tries to put all his weight to push to lock this thing on the roller coaster. Because once when this thing locks... I'm done, I can ride. But he went, jumped, and pushed all his weight on the seat, and it would not click. And that's what he was waiting for, it was just for it to latch. And if he could latch, then I could ride. But here's the thing, it could not latch. And I was embarrassed because I had to leave while all my other friends uh, got to re ride that roller coaster. I was just sitting outside waiting for him, and I'm like, that was when it really hit me that, oh my gosh, I'm overweight, I'm fat, and I'm a beast, honestly, if I'm being honest. I keep trying to sugarcoat, but yes, I was a beast. I'm always trying to sugarcoat it to myself, not to you. 
I was a obese kid. I was obese two years ago. And the truth didn't at first discourage me, but then it freed me. Because when you're honest with yourself and you t tell yourself the God honest truth, it frees you. Because it inspired me to change. My favorite quote from Jim Rome is, if you want to change, you have to change. If you want change in your life, you have to change. I probably said that wrong. But uh, yeah, the saying one more time is, if you want your life to change, you have to change. If you want it to get better, you got to thrive to be better. If you want to lose the weight or you want to be a healthy person, you have to thrive to be there. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm still, I lost 85 pounds and you're probably thinking, man, I wish I could be there. I wish I could have that same weight loss. I wish, uh, you, and I wish I could have your self discipline to do all this. And some of y'all probably think I'm like, oh, I bet losing weight is now just easy. Oh, I'm going to let you know. It is still hard. <laughs> Um, it, losing weight has been hard since day one, and I still struggle with it, it is still a fight, um, that I fight every week, and, um, and what keeps me motivated is just finding my identity, um, and that's what helped start it, helped start this journey, was waking up and telling myself, I am an athlete now, I am a healthy athlete and I need to train. So what do I need to do? And that's what started. I woke up, started training for f 15 minutes. That was it. I did 15 minutes of some physical exercise that I was done. And then I tried to challenge myself to eat healthy during the day. And over time, I chose more good healthy choices and my workout started getting longer. This morning, for example, before I started this video, I did 35 minutes of running and I ran about three miles doing that. I did not start doing that. I trained to get to that point. When I first walked or when I, yeah, I say I first walked when I was trying to run, I ran only like 0.75 miles in 15 minutes. Now you may think, oh, that's good. No, no, that's very slow. Like. It is very, I guess it's kind of embarrassing how slow that was. Um, but if you can do the math, you you can know how slow I was going. But, but on the days that I kept trying to, on the days that I slipped, I kept reminding me of my identity. I know this is going to sound cheesy, but I have a poster on the wall um, on my drawer, on my dresser. Uh, that says I am in big letters and in the mornings I see that and I say I am an athlete I am a spirit filled joy joyful person I am happy because uh, um, uh, I'll share later that my overweight brought more depression in my life instead of get me, instead of joy um, and yeah I'll tell talk about that later but I I started writing this stuff out saying I since I um, started writing out, I am this, I am this, I am this, and I would see that in the morning, and the, that's what motivates me, is knowing that, um, I am an athlete, I have to live up to that identity, because if you wake up, pull your pants on, and you can barely squeeze on, what's your first off name? I am overweight, and guess what your rest of your day is going to be doing what overweight people do, doing the overbeast people do. But if you wake up and do exactly what I did, like doesn't have to be 35 minutes. It can be like 15 minutes and just run and saying, I am an athlete and do this every freaking day because that's the hard part is doing it every freaking day, even on your day off like today. <sighs> because when you find your identity, um, it builds your spirit and I'm going to let you know one thing um, and your spirit is what motivates you and keeps you happy it keeps you going and I'm going to go ahead and let you know one thing when it comes to willpower it does not exist I still struggle like I shared today this past week and in fact someone um, brought pizza to our uh, work and uh, they put it right there 
behind me where I could smell it and it smelled good. So guess what? I didn't have a slice. I had half the box. And what kills me more is that I had no willpower at the point. Uh, my identity, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about that pizza and how great it will taste. And my spirit was thinking, oh yeah, it'll taste good. <laughs> so that at that point, I struggled. And the worst part is about the story was I had my healthy food in me and my lunch. I had my salads, I had my shakes, I had all that stuff I've been eating that's been helping me lose weight yet I didn't eat a single bit of it that day I just had my pizza and I share this story to let you know that yes I still struggle like yes I have lost the weight but yes I still struggle but I also share, share the story because um, willpower doesn't exist your identity exists at that moment, I didn't identify myself as a healthy person. I didn't identify myself as an athlete that needs to eat, that wants to eat the healthy foods. I need to specify that. As an athlete, you want to eat healthy foods so you can train more and so you can run longer. At the moment, I didn't see myself as that person. I saw myself as a person who really wanted that pizza. And guess what? I really got that pizza. So that's why finding your identity is truly, truly a point, important. Um, because when you find your identity, that's when your path, that's where you look to, that's where you seek and all your energy and all your time goes to. Because like I said, willpower doesn't exist, but your spiritual power, what you build in the morning, that does exist. And since willpower does not exist, we need to seek something that helps motivate us through that time and that could be your identity and for me it was my identity and looking to myself as an athlete what am i saying oh yeah and for future for other occasions what i'd always look for was it was my identity for being an athlete for being a healthy person for being who i am is my identity in Christ saying that I am a follower of Christ and his spirit lives in me and his sp spirit, excuse me, his spirit empowers me to make changes and I now rely on it. I now train myself or excuse me, I'm training myself even today to re rely on his power and not my own to lose weight. And uh, you may be a believer or not, that is up to you. You may rely on your own spirit. You may rely on what I've been talking about is identity, but you have to rely on some kind of power to get you over this food because some some people think, oh, it's just easy to stop being the sweet stuff. But no, I love the sweet stuff and I really, really love the good stuff. And that's what hurts the most about losing weight is that trying to lose weight and trying to eat good is very very hard now you can do it i've been doing it for a while but there's a lot of times those unhealthy stuff seem, still seems a lot gooder than my healthy stuff so i want to leave you with this is if, if you really want to start uh, inspiring yourself to change find your identity because when you find your identity you find where you want to be and where you want who you want to become and when you find your identity you will live up to your identity so my name is chris thank you so much for watching